Build Shear is an incredibly useful tool for placing constructions in game. However many stumble on how to use it, and where to place the mods. The constant game updates, do not make it easier either. Now, at the time of this recording, it works 100%. However, I cannot guarantee that it will work perfectly with the future updates. So let's jump right to it. Having a clean install, will not only prove that it works perfectly, but it will also eliminate any other discrepancies regarding the version incompatibilities. So if you have the game installed, uninstall it and delete the game folder for its entire contents. Don't worry about your saves, they are usually saved on other folders, but also on the game's cloud servers. Step 1. Perform a clean install of the game. While your game is installing, you can go ahead and start browsing for the mods. Step 2. Download the three mods. Their links will be shared in the description below. First up we have Valheim Plus. Second we have the Slim VML Loader. And last we have the Build Shear. Once you downloaded the archives, use 7-zip to extract the files. Step 3. Follow the video instructions. To use BuildShare we need three things. First we need to have a Bopinex folder. That's why we download Valheim Plus. Second we need to paste the contents of the Slim BML loader in the Bopinex folder. And third, we need to copy paste the single DLL file into the Slim BML folder. The order is very important. With that over and done, you can check the game and see whether the mods work. If you don't get any errors, and the game loads perfectly well, then you are halfway out of the woods. If you do get an error, and the game doesn't load, then it means that there are some compatibility issues. Next, we need to see if build share is loading on a server. Once the game loads, check for an icon on your left side of the screen. If you see it, then press the escape button on your keyboard, and expand the menu to see more options. Let's see Terrain Master first. For example, I use it very often to save some time and level the ground perfectly. My advice, don't put more than 15 or 20 units, as it will take quite some time to compute. And in some cases it might even crash your game. As a side note, it always builds a 20 by 20 square on your right side. So try to align your avatar's body the right way. Another option which can be useful, is the remove flora. Usually, it removes any unwanted trees and rocks. However, it's not entirely perfect, as you can see it here. To place a construction, you need to save or download a vbuild file and place it in the my directory folder so let's go ahead and find us a vbuild file almost all of my constructions have a vbuild file plus it's easier and way faster for me to show you this way As usual, you have to extract the archive. 
and copy the contents in my directory. If the folder does not open, you can press the save icon, select the current location, and press save. This way, you will have something in my directory. And this time, when you press the my directory icon, it will open a folder for you. You will also see the constructions, if you press the build list icon. Now, let's try and place the construction. In the build menu, there are a couple of things you can play with. First are the X, Y, and Z axis. However, we will not bother with them. You can do that on your own. Instead, just select the right construction, and press build. As a side note, you can also toggle the construction without building. However, by doing that, I had some issues. So keep that in mind, since you might have to reload the game several times. As you can see, everything was built correctly, and there are no issues. To reset the terrain, you can simply go back to the terrain master menu, change the radius, and click remove land. To delete any construction, you can select the destroy icon, change the radius, and press the destroy all button. And there you have it, this is how you install, and use build share.